because I would rather somebody take a uh, pair of steel-toed boots and kick me in a delicate region than to lose a hockey game like that. Wanted to cover, but it was clear. Toronto Marlies head coach Dallas Aikens after his team was the victim of a blown call against the Admirals. I'm Brian Parsons. Bruce has the night off and talk about puck luck. The Norfolk Admirals are one win away from winning the Calder Cup and they got a little help from the officials during last night's Game 3 win in Toronto. Scoreless in overtime, Mike Koska dumps the puck from center ice. It bounces off the stash and, and trickled in for the game winner. The only problem, Brandon Siegel of the Admirals should have been called for delayed offside and American Hockey League president Dave Andrews admits there was an error on the ice. He released a statement today that read in part, the correct application of AHL rule 83.4 would have negated the Norfolk goal due to a delayed off offside call as AHL bylaws do not allow for any change to the final result of a game based on an incorrect rule interpretation, the result of the game stands. Head coach John Cooper joins us on the Sports Wrap Hotline. Coach, how crazy was that finish last night? <laughs> it's hard to digest uh, what the enormity of what happened. And I think, you know, I, I think about if, if the game was 8-7, you know, you could see a goal like that and, and kind of understand what happened, but that was a 0-0 hard-fought nail-biter. And uh, for that to go in, we just I, on, it was, couldn't, couldn't believe it. And, and uh, uh, I actually on the bench didn't even see it go in. I was, I was sitting there talking to one of my coaches when it went on, and it, it's, it's weird because when a goal is scored, and if you're the visitor and you hear it's kind of a dead silence when a visiting team scores, and I kind of heard that noise. I could not believe that goal went in. Well, what's your take on the AHL statement that the goal shouldn't have been allowed because of uh, delayed offside? Well, I think it's I think it's a tribute to the American League. They stepped up and didn't skirt an issue that was, you know, clearly became an issue. It, especially in this these the heightened um, press coverage, media coverage of the finals. Uh, I, again, I, according to the rules, you know, it was it was offside, but. Uh, it's the it's the great thing about sports. Uh, it's live theater. Uh, it's why we watch and what happens. Mistakes are made. There's a human element to the game. And t to tell you the truth, I think it was a situation that when when the goal, it was such a remarkably one in a million chance goal that went into the time. I think everybody was shocked. There was 8,000 people in awe. Didn't know whether, didn't know what to do. And I think that. That caused some of the the motion. Now you guys are one victory away from winning the Calder Cup. What's what's the mood? Naturally, the mood. The guys are excited, but we really, again, called it the business trip all along. And and last night was just one more step. But uh, we, you know, you needed to win number three to get to number four. Now we have number four next, and we're really feeding off a lot of the series against St. John. Uh, eerily similar, especially with the zero zero. One nothing overtime win in Game Three, which was the same as the St. John series, and and now we're in a situation uh, to close it out, and and we just have that same mindset. The boys, three o'clock tomorrow, coming to work. Now you've made plenty of arguments in your days as a defense attorney. Can you make a case for the Admirals being the best team in AHL history? <laughs> it's always those are. Uh, I, I can, you could probably make a case to say, again, we'd have to be very fortunate to, uh, to win this, but if, if we go, and, and another thing is it's really hard to compare eras. So if, but in our era, for, you know, you include the streak, uh, you include the Calder Cup, you include, you know, how the boys did it, and, you know, especially if we we're going to win tomorrow. Uh, especially in this era, I don't know how you keep our uh, our name out of that breath. Coop, thanks for joining us, and good luck tomorrow, and we'll see you when you get back to Norfolk, hopefully as Calder Cup champions. <laughs> My pleasure. We're, uh, we're, we're, we're really excited, and uh, hopefully we can bring a trophy home. The Admirals can wrap it up tomorrow in Toronto. They're going for the sweep. Face-off is at 3 o'clock. If the Ads win, it will be their first ever Calder Cup championship and their fourth overall title if you include the three East Coast Hockey League titles dating back to those John Brophy days.